is going on everybody it's your girl cherish well teasy back with another one as you guys can tell by the title today i do have something very very special for you guys i have an early review of the air jordan 11 cool gray these kicks are scheduled to release december the 11th of 2021 so as you guys can already tell your girl managed to get her hands on a pair early so we are going to take a look at these joints today if you are new to the channel you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the sneaker gang and give this video a big thumbs up without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video and check out these kicks all right y'all the moment of truth i have never been so geeked in my life y'all once we take a look at the actual shoe we will see if they are the release of 2021 all right so make sure you guys stay tuned Wait a minute. Guys, what? This isn't the normal box. What the? Bro, what the heck? These not the cool grays. What? Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. I wanted to go ahead and do a quick unboxing, let you guys see. I did get the Air Jordan 12 Royalty, so I did just get you guys. Y'all thought I was, you know, getting a messed up order. Y'all was gonna start, start laughing at me in the comments, huh? Nah, I just want to let y'all know, your girl did manage to cop a pair of the Royalties last weekend, so I had to throw that on there. I got y'all. Let me know down below in the comments if I got y'all on that one. Okay. But before you guys get mad, leave the channel, you know, leave the page, leave the video. Let me go ahead and get to unboxing what you guys are actually here for. The Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, y'all. 2021, y'all. We've been waiting for these bad boys to come back out for some years now. And they are finally here. Oh, my goodness. I know y'all see that pop of gray. I know y'all see that pop of gray. Oh, man. Check that out. I just love the platinum gray box with the light gray on the top, dark gray on the bottom. And then we have Air Jordan with the Jumpman logo in the middle, y'all. This box is just so smooth and silky. Look at that. Nike Air and swoosh on the side. The box alone is crispy, y'all. All right, before I go crazy and just... Just fall in love with the box before I can even get inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the official label so y'all can see what's up. The official label does read Air Jordan 11 Retro. The official color is medium gray slash multicolor multi. I did manage to cop my size a 10 and a half in men's. SKU number is CT. 8012005 and these joints did retail for 225 US dollars. But if you guys did not know in 2022 Jordan is increasing those prices. We are going to see lots of Jordans for $200. So, you know, they they did what they did on these. They knew everybody's going to pay 225 for these joints and they're still going to sell out. So, before I start ranting about the retail, let's go ahead and take a look at the kicks what we all been waiting for y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I know these going to take my breath away. Wow. I got a slight glimpse. I got a slight glimpse. Oh man. Oh man. These joints, y'all y'all these are everything oh my wow but let me go ahead and give y'all a little review i'm gonna start off by giving you guys a 360 of these joints so you can see them up close and personal All right, so let's go ahead and get into the review of these things. So first and foremost, what grabs your eye, or at least it grabs my eye, is the pop of the white rope laces. These thick laces most definitely grab your attention. I like the white on the silky, crispy gray. It just looks so freaking hard. And then we do have the patent leather on the toe box and all around the upper. That is some real good, nice quality patent leather. At least I think it is. And something else that is to note that has been the talk of the town is that 
the mud guard on these shoes do go higher than normal on Jordan 11s. That's something they started doing with these kicks this year. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like it better with the mud guard being low. I've heard a lot of talk about people discussing, you know, the mud guard being up or the mud guard being down. A lot of people don't like that it is higher on these 11s. I think that, you know, it's something that's different, but I don't think it takes too much away from the shoe, especially because that patent leather on the mud guard looks so freaking good. And then the upper is made of that suede new buck material. Looks so freaking good, feels good. I don't know if it's like suede or what, what it is. It feels kind of like suede. That material is also on the tongue of the shoe. And then we do have the Jordan labeling in gray with a kind of like heather grayish, almost whitish jump man that's located there. It's kind of hard to see. And then for the heel tab, we have the jump man that is in white. And then also we have that stitched white 23. That is another detail that I just think is so dope. I just think that white looks so good on that gray. And then as usual, we do have an all white midsole. And then we have that juicy translucent outsole. Look at that, y'all. Just so crispy. It's icy it literally just looks like you're walking on ice one of my favorite parts but i know that is a part that people do tend to get weary of as the shoe does tend to start yellowing on these areas so most definitely another reason as to why to double up on these joints and then we have the carbon piece in the middle as well as usual and then you guys can see that all white jump man in the middle of the outsole guys overall just taking a look at the whole shoe in all looking at both kicks guys these shoes are breathtaking i'm not even capping y'all i'm not lying these kicks are worth all 225 bones that you had to pay for them are they worth the resale that's about 500 600 dollars right now i don't know about all that just because that is quite pricey but 225 most definitely if you can get your hands on these for retail i would snag them they are worth it i see no like quality control on either of my kicks 10 out of 10 would recommend i just can't believe that we finally got them and i finally got my hands on a pair and get to add these joints to the collection most definitely most definitely most definitely going to try to double up on these kicks i did happen to get these kicks early for retail because there was a shock drop on the nike sneakers app if you guys did not watch my video i did post the video at like 2 a.m on monday november the 15th and the shock drop happened on november the 15th at 10 a.m central time if you guys don't already have your notification bell on you need to turn that notification bell on so that you can be notified when i drop a video if your notification bells was on you would have seen the shock drop video and you would have probably walked away with a pair of these kicks you still have time to get these joints december the 11th 2021 at 9 a.m. Central Time, they'll be releasing on Sneakers app, Foot Sites, there'll be raffles. And I do think there will be a high number of stock of these kicks. So I think you may be able to get your hands on a pair, but there is a high demand on these kicks as well. So it may not be as easy as we think. So make sure you guys let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do an on feet, show you guys some outfits to wear with these shoes. You know, if you did take a dub, then you can see what to wear them with. Let me know down below in the comments. If you have not already done so, give this video a big thumbs up. I know you guys like these kicks so you guys need to go ahead and like this video and also make sure if you are new to the channel you hit that subscribe button join the sneaker gang other than that that's all that i have for today's video i will catch you in the next one